everybody, Ann here, and today, well, it's a little cloudy. It's supposed to rain later, which is totally great because I had kind of prayed for rain because my rain barrel is almost empty. I don't know how much it's going to rain, so hopefully I'll get at least one of the 32-gallon trash cans filled up. But in the meantime, just a couple things I need to add to the composting bin. I've got to do something with this here mulch, and I've got a big, big thing to put together. I can't wait. I'm just going to clear a little bit of a hole. You can see some banana peels in there that I put down not too long ago. And add the stuff. Just some old nasty peppers. And yeah, I'm leaving the seeds in. That's probably a bad idea because maybe they'll sprout. I don't know. I know you're not supposed to put stuff that has seeds in it, but that's just the way I roll. Haha. <laughs> and now just some nasty old mushrooms that were way past their prime. Just cover it back up. Now some people turn their composting bins. I've read that some some people do it, some people don't. Um, I don't know, I might. So right now I'm just covering this stuff all up. And uh, the next time I'm going to go get some fresh leaves and straw and whatever. Throw it down in there. I'm just trying to keep it simple. Man, Tennessee has got some big, big bugs. See this here plastic container thingy? That's what the kitty pool came in, and guess what I'm going to put into it? Mulch. Let's see how much mulch can fit into that little bag. Quite a lot, actually. Now, what do you think I'm going to do with this? That makes a really cool little carrying case for the mulch. I think I could probably get some more in it, but I'll tell you what, let's go see what I'm going to do with this mulch. There it is! I brought my composting toilet inside. I've got my little bag of mulch right next to it. I'll just be able to reach down into it and put a little bit in there each time I do my business. The only thing I need to do, like somebody suggested, I have to find a way, because this potty is on the lowest setting, I have to find a way to bring the bucket up a little bit higher. So I need to find something that's just about an inch and a half tall to see if I can accomplish that. Look at that! Remember that wood, you guys? One layer of it was just the perfect height to get the bucket all the way up flush to the top of this. So now I think I'm just going to put the insert in it and put the lid on top of that and see how that fits. And if it works, then I'm golden! Fits perfect. So all you have to do is take the lid off, put the seat down, do your business, throw in a little bit of the bulk material, and then put the lid back on. Now, you're probably saying, well, Anne, why do you want to have that lid over it? Well, just in case, you know, just in case there's an odor. We'll see. I may end up taking it off with these composting toilets that use mulch. I have never smelled an odor, and many of them just keep them open. It's just about an inch of mulch down in the bottom, and this toilet is complete. Look what I did, and guess what I'm going to do with it? I'm going to plant something in it. Oh, how cute! I got a mommy and a baby frog. I've got tons of frogs all over the place. Aren't they cute? There it is, folks. I got a bunch of dirt or soil and hummus and manure filled it up. That's a nice big tire, too. That took a full bag of the organic hummus mixture and about two and a half bags of the soil that I've been using. So, yeah, quite a bit. And the soil's all the way inside and everything, and I've mixed it all up. What am I going to plant in it? I don't know. I haven't decided. I mean, I could do dill, but... I don't think so. I don't know if I'm going to do dill or not. I could transplant one of the other plants into it, like a tomato or something. So I think I'm just going to let this sit. It's supposed to rain today. Mother Nature will get this soil nice and wet for me. And maybe I'll plant something in it tomorrow. Hear that? It is starting to rain. So I'm going to go look at my catchment system to make sure everything's okay. And hopefully I'm going to get lots of water. Everything's looking great. It's all nice and attached. The water is coming down, and the hole is right there. I even just stuck a bucket right there, just in case, you know. Um, wishful thinking. Maybe that water will come out forcefully enough, it'll just end up in that bucket. 
It might just drizzle down the side, but who knows. I'm going to be watching this all day. See that? That's what was in the big box. I put it together all by myself. I even read the instructions. And it is so, so comfortable. Let me try not to step on you, Betty. Look at that. It's a glider rocker and an ottoman. That little thing right next to it that's covered up by a turquoise shower curtain, that's just a drywall putty bucket. I'm going to use it for a little table for right now. Got to get rid of that box. But look at this. Oh, ho, 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 ho. You know who you are. Thank you so very, very much. I got to sit down in this. Look at me just rocking back and forth in my new rocking chair. I love it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. I love it so much. Betty's looking at me. She's like, Mama, I'm going to come crawl up into your lap. But no, I don't think so. I've got a beautiful view out my windows. And here, let me see if I can show it to you. You can't really see. Uh, no, you can't see at it because the sun's trying to shine into it. But it looks gorgeous. I can look out all three, four of my windows. Whoops, getting out of focus. And it's just so, so comfortable. This chair is so comfortable and it is absolutely perfect for this space. And I'm just looking around and looking at my new view that I have sitting inside my cabin. And it's just so pretty outside and it's relaxing. I can rock and I've got my little, little table here right next to me. So thank you so very much. This chair is better than anything else, uh, better than a couch or a love seat. It fits the space perfectly, and I'm going to get many, many years of use out of this. You know who you are. I love you. Thank you so much. That's all I got for you today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.